What's good, YouTube land? That weird collector here, back with some more Pokemon Uranium. God, it's been a while. Uh, just trying to remember the controls. Right, this is our team. I don't remember where I have to go. Is this really where I ended things? I'm gonna be lazy and not check, so I'm just gonna assume yes. There we go. Where do I have to go? Beal Beach, I believe? That kid. I believe this path is open now. Or I don't have Rock Smash, do I? I do have Rock Smash. Never mind. Nothing I can do to skip past this, so we're just gonna run away. And keep getting into battles. Yeah, I haven't fought this guy before. Interesting. Yeah, I honestly, it's been so long, I can't remember where I'm supposed to go. Thankfully, this isn't a Nuzlocke, so I don't care particularly much if my Pokemon get defeated. This is a little tough. It's been so long since I've actually played a regular, in quotes, regular style Pokemon game. Like, I've been playing Dragon Ball Z Team Training, and it's been a year since Sun and Moon came out, and I can't remember the last time I actually played that game. But Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon are out by now, and I haven't gone to pick one up yet, because I'm... Waiting for this, uh, Auto Comic Con. Am I supposed to go? 
Have I fought this gym? Okay, apparently I haven't fought this gym. Um, no, I have. And the gym leader apparently likes cats. What was the button for bike again? It's registered, but that's Z. Excuse me while I mess around with my keyboard. I think we're gonna go to Beale Beach. So, let's do another segment of what the fandom's mad at today. And today, we're going over to Power Rangers. Now, I don't know how big a fan base are, how much, mm, how many Power Ranger fans are in my fan base, but if you know the story, then you know. But if you don't know, uh, recently images cropped up for the next uh, wave of Power Rangers uh, legacy figures. The the ones I did a review of the Ninja Storm figures a while back. Those are supposed to be for the adult collectors, right? That's the tagline is there for the adult collectors, the longtime fans. So an uh, image cropped up of a new wave with Dino Thunder Red Ranger, uh, Z uh, I believe Dino Thunder Blue Ranger, the Zeo Green Ranger, and the Zeo Gold Ranger. Now what's Important here is the picture of this, the Zeo Gold Ranger. The gold, his gold armor is not the color everyone expected. It's more like a dirty mustard, like really cheap looking color. The problem is that everyone was expecting the uh, a shiny gold, you know, to look like armor. Because that's what the gold Zeo Ranger wears, is armor. And that wouldn't be a problem if Bandai didn't uh, show the figure earlier at a, like a, not a, like a Comic-Con kind of place. And the, the figure, I guess, was a pre, I don't know, pre-render or something. Just a display model, because it had the shiny gold paint. But the retail version does not have the shiny gold paint. So I've seen... Uh, I've seen my Twitter, like, just tons of responses to this, like, people absolutely hating this. Like, everyone, like, uh, fan sites, like, Toku Nation, like, just shitting all over Bandai. And I, honestly, I tend to agree. Like, we've gotten no explanation on why the gold paint was changed to crappy, ugly gold plastic. 
the best we get is here's a thing. Bandai likes to put the blame directly on the fans. They they don't take the blame themselves. So if a toy line is like here's an example. The the legacy line tends to shelf warm, you know? Still trying to Oh, I remember. F5, never mind. So yeah, the legacy line is a shelf warmer. Because Bandai doesn't understand how to advertise their products effectively. Then they complain that we're not buying the toys. But a, a kid who goes into a toy store and sees that has no idea who that is. Like the first wave, like the Ninja Storm figures, the Mighty Morphin figures, a little kid, the, the most common per person to want a toy, unless they're a hardcore Power Rangers fan and have paid attention for years, do not know who those characters are. So, they don't know who the characters are. And they don't know that they're there. There's no advertisement for the legacy figures. The sound's gone. And then Bandai threatens to cancel the line because we're not buying enough toys. And like, you've seen my review. I bought all three of the Ninja Storm fi figures released so far. And as flawed as those toys are, they're the only way to get those characters that I love. And the suit designs that I like. You can't see, but I'm pointing at them with a stern finger, you know. So, don't... Hmm. I'm trying to figure out what I was going to say next. The issues, like, there are issues with the toys, obviously. Like, the proportions on the female body are just insane. Like, I don't understand why Bandai thinks that is the kind of toy people want to buy. Like, figure arts are a much better toy in most people's opinions because they're accurate to the suit in the show, which was spandex, which was not form-fitting. I've beaten this guy, right? So then, Bandai comes with a comes to us with shit like this, the gold, the cheap gold plastic, and they expect us to buy buy this. Like I've seen the, the pictures of the of his the legacy Zio Green Ranger figure. He has gold paint. On his chest design, you know, the uh, kind of look like hieroglyphic, hieroglyphics design on the, around the neck. Like it's gold and white. And they, <coughs> excuse me, they painted that gold. But that was the only part on him, on that toy that is painted proper shiny gold. And like, I'm getting mad. Not getting mad, I am mad. Oh crap. I'm fighting Sir Goldcorn again. Thankfully he's only level 18, but my Avidine is a bit damaged. But yeah. Like I see so many complaints and like I under like, I take their side and there, there's an argument people are trying to c use that they say we should just paint it ourselves. Why, A, why, we shouldn't have to. Here's a quote I really like. It's, it's my job to buy the toy. It's Bandai's job to make me want to buy the toy. And an inaccurate gold 
plastic on one of the more popular suits. The Black Ranger, technically he's a Black Ranger, but he's classified as gold. From Power Ranger Zeo. Played by Jason, by Jason Lee Scott, also known as Austin St. John, is one of the most popular characters, or suit designs, whichever you pick. So people are not going to buy an inaccurate toy. Like the friggin' Legacy, not Legacy, but the Super Legends figure from a number of years back that I have that sits in my drawer with a broken leg has is more accurate and has better paint on him than that toy. And people try and say, don't get, don't complain over a toy, it's meant for kids. This toy line is specifically catered towards adult collectors. I, I don't know what else I could say. And there's also people, like this is something hilarious I've seen. One of the guys I follow who, who runs Toku Nation has not specifically, but, or not, I mean specifically, but not gone after uh, a well-known popular YouTuber, MMPR Toys. Basically, the, I don't want to open a kettle of fish, but fuck it, I'm going to open it, and it's not going to be a kettle of fish, it's a kettle of whoop ass! Wrestling reference has called out MMPR Toys, technically, because MMPR is kind of a rap between the fans and Bandai. I think, essentially calling it, like, he's the rap, but I ha I read the article, I don't remember everything that's said. But when you have people in the fandom calling out other people, for basically being glad hat glad handed yes man to Bandai, then you know you have a pro like there's a problem somewhere. You get what I'm saying? All of this over gold paint. Like you've basically united the Fed dub in a way that hasn't been done forever. Over gold paint. And like Bandai says nothing. They've given us no reason why. Uh, do I have revives? I don't. Okay. I might just do some grinding after this. Fuck it. Actually. I think a rare candy does what I want it to do and gives my... No, it doesn't. Okay, never mind. But he does get to learn Flame Wheel. I was hoping it would revive him. Because it's done that in older games. Or, like, regular Pokemon games. Up to a certain point, I believe it revived you if you... Never mind. Crap. <laughs> and like, hmm. I could rant about this for a long time. Like, I appreciate the legacy line giving us some of the better and old, like, older suit designs. But I wish, A, the toys were a lot better. Because, like, they're over-muscular, obviously, that, if you saw my review, like, I've talked about everything I talked about in that video, so, I just say go watch it, but, yeah, the female toys are awful, as Bandai always does with Power Rangers female action figures. They either have terrible proportions, or, like, the, the joints just... Ugh, they're hard to play with. It's hard to describe. <sighs> Things like this. 
Like, I shouldn't be as upset as I probably sound. Because it's just a toy, obviously. But I... I'm a toy collector. That's what I do. I love toys, no matter how old I am. Like, it's hard to see something I wanted to be great, and that looked great from all the press shots we had a number of months ago, turn out so terribly executed. And already Bandai's Bandai's lack of social media or advertising is probably the biggest issue. Like for the movie, there were basically no advertisements of, until like a month or two, maybe a bit more before the movie came out. Like the only advertisements were the toys on the shelves. The only reason I knew was because other people tweeting about the movie. Nothing. Nothing from Lionsgate. Nothing from Bandai. And they don't respond to people's complaints. As I said, they only tend to put the blame on the people who are complaining. Jesus has gone on long. Oh, we're actually supposed to go here. Oh, right. I remember this. I'm... Oh, right. This is where we are. Sorry, I'm... I am not doing his dialogue for now. I honestly... I hope Bandai sees all this fan response and gets their shit in gear. Redo the Gold Ranger. Redo the Dino Thunder Ranger. Because he has gold on his bracelets and like all down, like parts of his suit. And those aren't painted proper gold either. They're just the dull gold ish plastic. I'm like, I don't think I'd be as, as mad like at the moment if I didn't see everyone posting about it. If I didn't know anything about it, I probably... Well, obviously I wouldn't be talking about it right now. If... <laughs> Somehow somebody found those in in a retail shop. Like, like the picture I'm talking about were actually... Like, somebody found them in... I don't think it was a Walmart, but... I don't... Like, some toy store. And posted them. I, that is the only way anyone knows about that, is because... Because of fans, because of people who care enough to post pictures. Like again, nothing from Bandai. And I really don't want to hate on Power Rangers because it's it's my favorite franchise. It's the one I've been watching since I was a little kid and consistently wanted to enjoy like it's hard when the current even when it relates to the TV show because the TV show going on for the past couple years has not been very good like really ever since Bandai or Saban bought it back from Disney like Samurai was okay I haven't watched much of it, but it seems to be widely accepted that it was okay. RPM was great. Megaforce up to Ninja Steel have not been very good. Should we even talk about the Pokemon going on right now? That thing looks cool. It's kind of like a, what would you call it, a rock spider cyclops? It looks really interesting. And then we just have a Grozard. Although I think this is going a little slowly. What? Let me know what you guys think.
I have no idea what, honestly, what's going on in this battle right now. I'm just pressing the C button as much as possible. Yeah. So that's today's edition of What the Fandom's Angry About Now. Have any suggestions for these? Leave them in the comment section down below. And also, what is your favorite uh, ROM hack slash unofficial Pokemon game that I've played so far? And if I guess this is asking a bit much, but if you have any suggestions of games you want you want to see me try and play, feel free to tell me either in the comments section or on Twitter. My my Twitter handle is in the description of every video. And if you don't read that, it's uh, at WeirdCollector5. Because I couldn't get that Weird Collector as a handle, so that my name on Twitter is just that Weird Collector. Yeah, these double battles feel really slow. Like, it feels like the game can't handle it with the record. Like, maybe this is the recording software. Do I have any repels? That is my question. I don't want to fight any of these comets. Comet? Comet. And this episode is again going to go on for pretty long because I felt like ranting. Rose hearts. <clears throat> oh, I guess I have to. I it's it's about midnight, so logic dictates if I want eight hours of sleep, I should go to bed now. Well, my head says that if I want eight hours of sleep, I go to bed now. But I'm a sucker for punishment, so I'm just gonna try and uh, exit this cave. I'm not. Actually, I'm going to get up to a certain point in the cave. Oh, jeez, Tonamis. And before next episode, I'll probably do some grinding. Because looking at my team, I desperately need to. This might go a little bit longer than half an hour. If I'm, if I'm being honest. And that's one thing I generally try to be is honest. Oh, jeez. I didn't expect a rock throw. Mm. Well, another thing I could, com could complain about is how uh, Nintendo of America and Pokemon, I forget the parent company of Pokemon for a second, every single time a fan game gets completed, they immediately send a cease and desist letter forcing, company, uh, forcing people to re uh, remove the games they've created. Like, it happened to the creators of Pokemon Uranium, who I've actually talked to once before, because I asked his permit, uh, JV asked permission to use one of his Pokemon in a <coughs> list video I did, which you guys should totally check out. Shameless plug. Uh, oh, Pokemon 3D it also happened to, the guys, uh... I don't know if it's happened to Zeta and Omicron yet, because I think their game is done, but I'm not sure if they uh, had to have it removed. I know the creators of uh, one of another fan game got basically trolled into the point that they didn't enjoy the process of making the game. Maybe it was trolling, maybe it was people, uh, the fandom demanding too much, but I think I've played the game... Yeah, it's the uh, the game I call Pokemon Sun and Moon, the knockoff seventh gen, I believe. Yeah. 
Solar Light and Lunar Dark, I think? Or maybe in a different game, I don't remember. I don't remember the story, all I know is I remember Munching Orange talking about it in one of his Let's Plays. Like, that's about... Ooh, I got a Dusk Stone. Um, I don't remember which way to go, but... We will persist, nonetheless. I think it's that way, so I don't want to... I want to get this item. Because I don't get another chance to go in the cave properly in the story. Well, I think I actually go through this cave multiple times if I desire. I just feel like collecting all of the items right now. So we get into an earthquake. We make it, we almost make it to the end. But there, Theo runs away and gets sealed off by some strength boulders. And we have to fight that guy who digs into the cave. Okay, I did not expect that noise, but uh, it keeps doing it. I don't have anything super effective for a ground type. Or at least, not that. That's not. That's. Yeah, that's exactly why I'm doing that. Because all my Pokemon are weak, and I don't believe. It wouldn't be a good idea to use uh, my starter. So we're just gonna fight. We're gonna get out of the cave. Hopefully. Probably. And then I'll end today's episode. Ooh, he's in endure. He's used endure. Endure. Thankfully, my quick attack did barely any damage. Ooh, almost. Thankfully, I have at least... At least one strong Pokemon that was able to beat up this Turlard. And those boulders went away. Where's... who cares? I believe we just leave. Yeah. Hmm. You there! What happened to all the Pokemon that were going berserk? They calm down. Ah, oh, fuck. I, I lost whatever accent I was thinking of. You fought a Turlard? Those are really dangerous. Hmm, that may have been the problem. When a Turlard's two heads fight each other, no. Fight with each other, excuse me. It riles up uh, the Pokemon in the area. Thanks for bringing peace to the cave again. Now we trainers can get through without fear. And he just leaves through that part of whatever he goes back into the cave. And we're out at Route 5. So I think I'm going to call it here. I'm tired. I'm kind of sick of ranting, honestly. And I'm a bit, I'm quite excited to go to Ottawa Comic Con. Holiday edition. Even though this is probably gonna be uploaded on uh, the 19th, which is actually technically the same day I've been recording it, I've recorded it. I've recorded it for two days. Yeah, because time. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you have enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Until then, keep it weird.